our CSS, we have jQuery, we have Bootstrap, we have Director, we have a communication file, and we have the placeholder for our actual J JavaScript that we're going to add in later on. Okay, now what does all this give you? What it gives you is it gives you um, a nav bar to place your, your navigation on the page, right? So just like Angular or any of these other sort of systems, um, you can have everything on this one page, quick, quick, quickly click and things will show up instantly. I love that page refresh. If you go to another website and you click on stuff, um, well, let's see, go. Well, for example, look at Cluster's website, right? See how fast it is? So the other thing is a spa. There's no page refreshes, right? Well, we're going to do something similar just like that. So um, we're going to use Director and our own JavaScript to do that. Okay, so the problem is, is everything's hidden, right? So you're not going to see this dashboard of this about page. So let's go look at that real quick. Let's make sure everything's still running or still good. You don't need to do that. I just do that. Um, okay, so we got, we got a token problem here. Let's make sure everything's okay. CSS, boots, watch. Well, let's rename this. Make sure we grab this guy here. Make sure everything's named properly. Uh, dashboard about. Oh, it's going to complain about this. So we'll do that. There you go. That should there we go. Okay. Um, for some reason, Bootswatch isn't loading up. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Well, we'll just get that for right now we'll just get bootstrap I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that stuff so um okay we have jQuery director communication and these guys here we have just make sure this is not it we're just gonna do this dashboard about Hmm, Bootstrap's not loading loading for some reason. Download CSS, where is the... Download, we'll just use the CDN for right now. So, link, style sheet, press origin. Oops. Let's do that for now, because I don't really want to mess with this. Okay, oops. You are going to need that. That's probably the default. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to need the JavaScript files for it. We're just going to grab this stuff now just because I don't want to mess with that. What? Is there? There we go, okay. So it was something to do with, my, whatever, it doesn't matter. Something to do with my files and stuff were messed up. I'll figure it out later. So we'll get rid of this stuff for here. Okay. So now you see we have nav bar, right? And why is my nav bar black? It should not be black. Oh, we are not using default. There we go. Okay, and then I want to know why. Oh, dashboard, and then about. So, okay, and these are not going to do anything. These you can clearly see, but it does put them up here. So now we can grab it without. And you didn't see there's no page refreshes, right? So now we can actually handle that. So how we're going to do it is we're going to handle a director. We're going to start with a router first. So let's create a new file called router.js. Of course, everything in this class will, will be run in a jQuery function to hide it from the console. Okay. So director's web page has how to handle this. Director on GitHub. Oops. Thought I typed in. And uh, 
it's right here this is the script that you can use um so the very first thing we need to do is we need to have a startup function for our application so startup.js we're gonna um wrap this here let's say document document dot ready function we're gonna call notify bind this is gonna do is this you know when the document's all loaded then it's gonna notify bind so nothing's gonna load until the document's done this is how we kind of control our state um, which is can be difficult in a web application but here we're gonna control our state really well and I'll show you how to do that so we're gonna observe bind call this here so what's gonna happen is as soon as the documents ready startups gonna call bind and that's gonna call this route file here so let's include both these in our app here we want startup to be called last so it'll be called system system and startup and here we want to call uh, this route it's not minified so we don't need to the min um, there we go there okay so now we need to ask we need to, no we need to initiate the router first so let's 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 do that first here so we'll do router dot it we also need to create the router object which um bar router equals router routes this router object here is instanti instantiated in the director file right here uh, now we need, let's create some routes for our router so bar routes equals we have dashboard first right so dashboard oops uh, that's yeah that's right dashboard and that's going to call the dashboard function so dashboard which we're actually we're just going to we're just going to do it like this for right now but um and then we have the about page which calls the function this function here um there and then we have the um you can do them up here like it does here we're, we're not going to do it that way okay so what happens first so first we need to hide all the sections so we do section dot hide and we're going to do this more efficiently in a minute but for right now we're just doing it this way section and then we need to do um data to route equal to dashboard dot show show and then here we copy and paste that guy here we do about and this should show everything that happens uh, when you click on stuff so let me show you what's going to happen here so we have a dashboard and we have an about and i believe that should work data route section show okay so let's refresh the page okay dashboard about see that see how fast it is isn't that cool now let's do includes okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to do um include dashboard and include about that should be here and here right let's refresh see that that is so cool about so what that gives us ability to do is include um for our files um and control everything through our routes and we're gonna make this a lot more dynamic in future videos but i just wanted to get to the point where we have a basic spa running okay there's a lot more to do but this is the foundations of that spa we need to add more security add a lot more routes complexity we need to get get data from the server we haven't used soccer cluster yet as far as getting data from the server so there's a lot more to do but uh i wanted to thank you for watching these videos and if you have any more questions please feel free to post i know we went over a lot of material in a quick um amount of time but i really think that this is the foundation for building a really fast and secure and powerful application once again my name is nick kotenberg and i appreciate your time thanks guys